Tell somebody to be careful what you hear. Honey, that's all right. It don't be by child. And what you say she has said, you said she said. I ain't got time to hear that. Now you trying to get all deep and stuff in. And now you act like you all. Look, let me tell you something. The same measure. Now I'm going to help you now. Throw that thing in reverse. All that junk you let in your spirit, that's why junk follow you. All that mess you let come in your spirit, that's why mess follow you. All that poverty that you sit around, that's why poverty follow you. That's why all that negative talking you sit around, that's why negativity follow you. I'm preaching to somebody right now. You got to change your atmosphere if you want to change your future. Because what's in your future is determined by what you put in you. See, like I'm under curse. Break the curse. Shut your spirit to garbage and feed it the word. Can't get no whole lot of people to holler right there. Because it's going to be tempting sometime and it's going to sound like it's a prayer thing. Girl, let me tell you what happened. And you know what I heard. Okay. Okay. What's going to happen to me? If I now sit here and I listen to this. Because one thing, if I ain't the answer to the problem, then I don't need to hear about the problem. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I ain't hear nobody talk to me with nothing. Y'all just don't want to talk back. Well, how in the world is she still in ministry? Because that was my motto. I don't care what they say. She stuck up. She act funny. She don't want to be nobody. Honey, is she like, like she an untouched? But nope, I preach, pray, and prophesy, and I go home. I don't want to eat no back room. I don't want no fruit. I don't want to go in the green room. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to fellowship. Because this gets messy. I'm going home. I didn't come to make friends. I had friends before I came on the road. I came to preach the gospel and mind my own business. I don't want to hear about nobody else's ministry. No, you don't even have to tell me like it's a prayer request. Because I pray every morning at 5 o'clock. If God want me to pray for him, he'll let me pick him up in the spirit. And he'll tell me the part I need to know. I'm not hearing y'all preach back to me right there. I'm not hearing nobody because I'm going to tell you something. The devil comes to steal your future. And it ain't just people in the world. He come to bring people right in the church. Right there they sit next to you jumping and shout to steal the anointing off your life. You got to learn that I got too much that I need God to work out. There's too many things that I know God has for my life. And I can't afford to give you a passageway into the same spirit that's going to get me to my next level. Can't afford it. That's three people say I can't afford it. It's too expensive. I don't want no soup that bad. I don't want no fruit that bad. Next time, gotta go. Gotta get up early. Gotta catch my plane. What you think? I don't know. Probably what you think about what I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. But I'll talk to y'all. Thank you so much for inviting me. Gotta go. But you know the word out on you is that you all stuck up. I said, but I'm still out that I'm still anointed too, so it don't matter. Come on here, somebody. Come on here, somebody. You gotta, you gotta learn how to protect the thing that God is gonna use to transport your victories. There's too many things that God has connected in your spirit that's waiting for food so that it can gravitate to you. Okay, y'all sit down because I didn't get off somewhere. So. Rusty water and clean water came one out the same pipe. I ain't never heard Jesus say, I feel so bad because they don't, don't want to be my friend.
He walked with power. And he walked with authority. And I don't care how much they talked about him and lied on him. When somebody died, they didn't send for nobody else but Jesus. Come on, I'm not hearing y'all talk to nobody right there. I'm not hearing y'all say nothing right there. I'm not hearing you say nothing right there. You got an assignment on your life and you sit up around a bunch of knuckleheads talking about nothing. You got to be careful that you don't let the religious system suck everything that God has in you out. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you if you know God called you. Because you're going to be ostracized. You're going to be put aside. People won't understand you. Who am I talking about? Woe unto you when people say all manner of good about you. You've already got your reward. Sit down because I got to finish this. I'm, I'm going off somewhere. I told him off quick, mother. Call myself up. How you doing? Fine, girl. I, I just really miss talking. All right. Da, 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 da. And you know what? So, hey, ho, ho. Hold on. I got to go. Oh, this ain't really nothing bad. I got to go. Because I got to stand in front of 20,000 people. And I got to have a real word. And I ain't got time for my spirit to be playing with no words in my mind that I heard. And that's why when I watch people on television preaching, I love everybody because I don't know nothing about nobody. Because I don't let nobody tell me that. Because you don't know who God going to use to bless your life. That's why you better shut your ears to all that stuff. Because the very people you let people sit up and talk about you too, that may be the very person that you may turn on the television one night when you got a gun in your hand and they got a word to stop you from blowing your brains out. Who am I preaching to right there? You don't know who got your blessing. I feel the Holy Ghost right there. Somebody says, that woman is preaching. I know I'm preaching. 